And that thing kicks ass. It's just running on solar power. Cooling this place down. So let me show you one of the first things I noticed after building the new storage shed. When I was in here, especially when I was building the shelves and stuff, it's hot as hell in here. Like um, a sauna. But here and there is built-in ventilation. It's not gonna do much though without something to pull the air. So that's what I'm about to show you. I've been working on a solution for that. <clears throat> you know, I've been playing with solar stuff. Use solar to fix the problem. And what's great is I can use like an extra panel that has nothing going on for it. For like 20 bucks, 15 bucks, a radiator fan. And then I got a little PWN monitor that can do constant voltage. And here's what's neat about this. Besides being the fastest way to lose a finger on video, I can control the speed with this. We have a solar panel running it. We only need this during the day when it's hot. So we don't even need a battery. We just run this directly off of the panel. So literally got panel running into wire to the input side. And I'm just briefly demonstrating how this works. And I'm hoping that fan stays in place. Come on. Slow it down a little bit. Or speed it up. It's a 12 volt fan. I can feel that. Holy crap. That's finger death. It's about to take off. <laughs> That's just 11.3, so you get the idea. It works. It works really well. So the next thing is to figure out mounting this in there and uh, flipping the one. One of these needs to be flipped around. Just unbolt the fan and flip it, so that way I can have uh, one pull, one push. Or honestly, with this much CFM, with this much static pressure, just one of these on the exhaust will do everything I need it to do. That way, I keep a uh, what we call a negative pressure system. So the exhaust will create negative pressure, which then the uh, the shed, not the garage, can pull in air from anywhere that there's an opening, a crevice. So it'll pull in some air from that other exhaust vent, but it'll pull in air from all the cracks. And that's good because you want cool air coming in from the bottom. And yeah, I could uh, totally cut some holes into the, the shed and make a proper intake on the bottom. But I'm just going to try this first because I think it'll work fine, especially with this much power. <laughs> That's awesome. All right, so I just flipped the blades around on this and uh, it'll be easier to show you over here. I did not plan this. I planned on making this work. I didn't plan on it just working, but this fan, it looks like it lines up almost perfectly with the existing holes and it's the right size. <laughs> so, it was made for this. Uh, let's just pull these screws out and hope that they fit and then we gotta run wires and do all that stuff. That is just too perfect. Like seriously, um, I don't want this thing to fall out though. So let's try to get it screwed in partially.
Let's get some water. I think I might have these kind of connectors. If not, I'll just probably cut them off and put my own. Oh, I'm already dying. It's hot in here. All right, so I just found, I'm using these stands, the bigger ones for those panels, but I have some small ones. Unfortunately, not enough space to fit it there, so just putting it down here in the yard below it. I wouldn't like to leave it that way permanently. Uh, if it was a permanent thing, I'd probably put it on the roof or something. But this is just temporary, actually, because once I get once I get uh, the batteries and all the big backup stuff, the whole home backup system inside of the shed or outhouse, whatever I decide to go with, then I'll have a battery in there and I'll have other sources of solar. So my plan is to only use this solar panel on a temporary basis. To keep the shed cool while I work on the other bigger stuff. All right, outside power is done. All right, <clears throat> let's see if I've got a solution figured out for mounting this. Now, this was pretty cheap, so it doesn't come with much. It's a PV PVC. It came with some standoffs on it because the soldering is not very great and it sticks off quite a bit. And if you ground this out, you'll fry something. And then it's got this little lightweight control unit. I'm going to just use Velcro for this. It's light enough, but Velcro wouldn't work well on this because it needs to be super thick. Um, and if I, even though this is a plastic shed, <clears throat> as I inspected it, you can see there's indentations, like these are raised and on this raised section, it doesn't go directly outside. So I can kind of use this as a place to screw into. Uh, so what I did was I hunted down some really small, thin screws that are a little bit long so that they stick past the uh, standoffs and can hold this to the wall but then the standoffs will keep it from actually smashing against the wall where these connectors are. So I think that should work. There we go. It doesn't even need to be. Tight, it just needs to stay on the wall. There we go. On the wall, secured. Velcro. All right. good okay I found what I think is the right size bought this a long time ago for some of my other projects like smart home automation stuff we need our interconnect
let's see. I have to reverse these wires from earlier. So red will go to black. So red needs the male piece. And this is the female, so that will go to the black piece. So I'll have to put a little bit of electric tape on there. Let's just turn it on and see if it works. It's on, but there probably isn't enough sun right now. No, it just wasn't turned on. Well, that's it. And now I just need to wait for sun and I'll tape this up. This is the cheapest, most effective do-it-yourself ventilation system for a lifetime shed with these ventilation openings pretty much plug and play pretty simple we had an opening here that we were able to use just a leftover solar panel this was not that expensive i think it was like 25 bucks on amazon 30. that was only 25 bucks on amazon i'll put the the links to everything in the description so this is patrick from vicious computers and i'll see you guys next time